Uh, you know, we went into this game. Our goals uh, for this game were to win the serve and pass. You know, I felt like we did that in the first, second, and fourth. Uh, you know, Lamar uh, really stepped up their game with the serve and pass in the third set and earned a lot and, and hustled out there. And so I was really proud of our team that we came back and, and won the serve and pass game in the fourth. Uh, Coach, how do you think Yeah, I, you know, I, I think overall uh, we've been playing at a high level and our energy has been where it needs to be. I think we let down and, and Lamar did a good job and, and put some pressure on us and their energy came up and ours went down a little bit. Uh, I did like how our team responded and came back in the fourth and, and brought some energy back. Speaking of energy, how are you guys going to plan to carry that going into tomorrow against Fresno and then do it further on to the conference play? Uh, you know, we've uh, been executing at a higher level, and so, uh, you know, I think we're building trust in our each other and our system, and uh, we've proven that we can play at a high level for a long period of time, and, and it's going to be a tough day tomorrow because it's our third match in a row, uh, but uh, I think we've trained well and, and smart, and our girls are, our, bar, our, bar, our bodies are healthy. Uh, and so I think we're going to go in tomorrow with some energy, and, and uh, I feel positive about it. Uh, on the subject of conference play, playing teams like UCLA, and I think I read something that said the last time you played Vermont was, you know, many years ago. Um, how do playing those types of teams prepare you for conference play going into next week, where it's like playing two Capella? Uh, you know, well, every, every team we play helps us. It's a different matchup. It's, uh, you know, Lamar ran a, a lot of different um, offensive schemes against us, so it challenged our block. Some things that we weren't used to or seeing. Uh, you know, UCLA had a different offense coming at us, a little bit had some power behind it and had some good middles. Uh, so each of, the, each of the teams that we play prepares us for conference play because, you know, it helps with our matchups and, and what we're going to do against other teams. And we have a game plan, and it prepares us to practice how to follow that out. Seven blocks tonight, you kind of were a problem at the net. Uh, just what, what was going through your head, and how do you keep up tonight? Um, it's funny because I actually talked to some of my teammates before because I haven't been connecting with my setters. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to focus defensively. And so I kind of took that to heart and just focused on my block and let the my connection with the setter come. So. So going into conference play, what are the things you guys are looking at going into that and seeing how you can improve on the teams and how it's played going into it? That's for anyone. Really? <laughs> um, like Joy said, I feel like every team we play challenges us in a different way. And we have to adjust. We can go in having a certain game plan, and then the team could be doing completely different things from their tendencies. Um, so it challenges us to adjust, and I think that's our biggest um, piece that we need to work on going into conference play is how do we adjust when things aren't going the way we think they should go, um, when we have expectations about certain players or how the game should be flowing, and we need to be more adaptable. Uh, one more coach. Megan Crudoff was super energetic tonight, 10 for 19 as far as kills and sacks, uh, seven digs. Just talk about the way she played tonight. You know, Megan, uh, you know, Megan always plays like that. She's just a great offensive player and dynamic and can do a lot of things for us. Uh, I mentioned before, is, uh, we're just pl trying to figure out roles for a lot of our players because we can use them. It's just how we're going to use them in certain ways. And, you know, Meg comes out with the serve and is just real wiry on her attack and uh, can, has a lot of range when she attacks. So. Um, you know, that's just how Meg plays, and, and we've got to figure out good ways that we can use her on our team. So it was really nice to see her out there doing her thing. Uh, for Haley, um, there seemed to be a noticeable difference in the way players around you played when you came in, checked into the game. Um, what are some ways that um, you kind of execute leadership and maintain chemistry that this team is capable of playing with um, in some ways that maybe don't show up? Um, it's a good question. Um, I don't know. I just, 
uh, like every point means something to me and I try and get my teammates like all on that same page that every point matters, not just 20 through 25, like every point matters. So we got our serving runs, I think like in the middle of the game and then I had one and Gigi had one and it's like keep going. Like when we get points like that, it's don't let up, like keep holding everyone accountable. Um, I don't know, those are some of the things that I try and keep going when we're doing well. So. I, I can help you with that. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, you know, Haley uh, practices how she plays and she sets the tone in practice and she builds trust within her teammates and there's just energy that, that's going all the time. She's always trying to problem solve and figure out how the team can be better and uh, she gets on her teammates if they're not performing and she's just got this energy and this uh, demand of where where she wants the team to be performing and how much you know effort we're putting into practice but she sets those you know she sets the tone and so the players feed off that energy so she might not know that but we tell her all the time so I'm glad someone else is seeing it also <laughs> uh, one more for me um, how are you guys preparing gameplay wise you guys in Fresno tomorrow um you know, we've we've got a game plan. We're probably not willing to share, yeah. but uh, <laughs> really for us, it's for us it's win the serve and pass game. Uh, we need to handle the ball and and try and help our setters out who are young and and get them the ball um, with control as much as possible to set up our offense. And our serve game is to get the other teams out of their, you know, take them out of their game plan. So our we our our number one goal and it's going to be all the time all year is to win the serve and pass game.